the rocket ice screw, we've kind of done it all. My name is Brett Merlin. I'm with Camp and Cassine Climbing Equipment. Really excited to introduce to you today the new rocket ice screw from Cassine. Ice screws for ice climbers have always been a really hard thing to find the perfect one. We've been able to get some attributes of some screws that we really like, but we don't get some of these other things that we want. We can have this one thing, but not the others. With the new rocket series, I really believe we get to have all of the things that we've always wanted in a steel ice screw. What are those things to an ice climber? Let's explore that. Looking at the rocket ice screw, starting with the teeth, we have about a two degree sharper tooth angle than most other screws on the market. How a screw starts is a real critical core function of how this product performs in the mountains. So having a screw that starts quickly is important. One way to get a screw to start really quickly is to have the teeth be really sharp and be designed at an appropriate angle to really bite into the ice in a very quick way. Because the faster that you can get to the speed knob on the back, the faster you can place the screw and keep moving up the pitch. The tube of the entire screw that we use as well is conically shaped, like most screws on the market. Wider in the front and more narrow towards the end. While our screw is conically shaped, it's less conical than a lot of others. In really cold, dense ice, that conic geometry actually can create a pinch point at the back of the screw that holds ice and creates resistance during the screw. The internal surface area of the tube as well is incredibly smooth. We spend a lot of time refining that, that surface area on the inside to really eject the ice out in a really efficient way so we have very little resistance placing the screw in the ice. The threads that we've used on the tube as well are a reverse bevel thread. We find that the reverse bevel distributes the load and the force of the screw within a bigger mass surface area around the ice and depth within the ice to give it much better holding power when as opposed to the bevel moving forward towards the teeth. And the final thing that really sets the rocket ice screw apart is the hanger. The way our hanger is bent, it rests naturally, draped symmetrically right under the screw. So now when this hanger is loaded, it's never going to be not going to be cocked to the side like a lot of other hangers are. Even more importantly, with this ice screw, we believe that this will be the first time ice climbers can symmetrically rack ice screws on left ice clippers and right ice clippers. So you don't have to change your hand position based on the side of the harness you're putting your screw on. The other really critical core thing that ice climbers run into is having to clear ice around the hanger and the speed knob in order to get it to turn around. Our hanger is really compact as well as we've mounted the speed knob on top of the hanger at the very highest point to separate it from the ice. Oftentimes in ice climbing, we look for depressions to put ice screws and even our picks into because those are the strongest sections of ice. Unfortunately, within those depressions, you get sidewalls that come around that can block the screw hanger from moving around. Our speed knob is nice and short, so it still gives you that efficiency of turning it while being separated away from the ice so you don't need to clear up as much around it. We've created a screw that starts really, really quickly, which is where the magic happens with screws. We've created a shaft that's going to eject ice out of the shaft of the screw in a really efficient way. We've manufactured threads with maximum holding power. We've made the ease of use of the hanger easy to rack on your harness and very quickly to drive into the ice without taking up much space. The Rocket Ice Screw is going to be available in a 9 centimeter, a 13 centimeter, 16 centimeter, 22 centimeter. It'll also sell for $59.95. One final thing that I wanted to mention, the sidewalls and the width of our hanger is a bit narrower than a lot of other hangers out there, so you can rack more of them on a hub ice clipper without taking up too much space. The UIA requires that certified ice screws be a minimum of 13 centimeters. So all of our ice screws, 13 centimeters and on, are certified. However, due to the nature of that certification, 
there is no way to certify a nine centimeter ice screw. That being said, nine little short ice screws, also known as stubbies, are really critical for some of the thinnest ice out there. As well as I really like them at the top of bulges of ice climbs where we often find the ice thins out. But yeah, little stubbies are incredibly useful and pretty mandatory on most ice climbers racks and they weigh less. Camp's always been really focused on trying to create the lightest piece of gear while still maintaining our core function of what we need. And with ice climbing, it is important. Ice climbing is also one of those categories where the performance priority is sometimes over outweighs the lightweight priority. Whenever you're considering that lightweight versus durability and heavier product, really understand what you're giving up in terms of a lightweight product. With ice climbing, actually, we find that you know sometimes a steel screw has a lot of benefits over aluminum. It has somehow has it a tendency, especially in wet ice, to screw into the ice without with less resistance than an aluminum screw. It does weigh a little bit more, for sure, um, but just having the right product for the job and the right material for the job at that time makes sense. So. Um, and steel screws aren't going anywhere and it's a fantastic material to use for um, the strength requirements that we need and um, to be able to make them do what we want them to do. Cassine has also introduced the new Rocket Plus ice screw. The Rocket Plus is a very ingenious design where we have a floating hanger that's set around the tube that allows us to put a carabiner on here and it allows a second to be able to remove the ice screw from ice while still being clipped to a rope. We think that for guides, this is gonna be a really nice added feature for their clients. If they're ever worried about taking a more of a novice ice climber out on a multi-pitch climb so that they can not worry about that person dropping the ice screw. So they can keep the ice screw clipped to the rope while it's being removed. And we have an, a, an enchainment of Dyneema throughout the sling as well so that the upper section in here can be clipped onto a hub ice clipper and so it doesn't hang down too long as opposed to clipping it this way which hangs out a bit longer. Another added advantage of this is that while building anchors it gives the leader a little bit more options in terms of clipping in at different points depending on the equalization that you're looking for and trying to reinforce one piece over another or incorporating the other to get a nice uh, force distribution in your anchor between pieces. Rocket Plus ice screws are going to sell for $79.95 in 13, 16, and 19 centimeter length. Oftentimes, a longer length ice screw is simply too long for a leader to place on lead for the most part, unless the good ice is much deeper within the ice. So these will often be used on the lead as opposed to building anchors with in general, if I had to guess. So um, we kind of went within the meat sizes of, of ice screws. Beep, beep, beep.